My name is David Pickering. I live in the Dalles, Oregon. My first poem is titled Box. The instrument is testy and hard wired to emotion. Nerves make it sharp, inattention flattens it. Ask any tenor, he'll tell you how age limits the range, how his line is toughest. He'll also go on, con spirito, about the flat altos, easy sopranos who always get the melody, and those lazy bastard basses who only have to show up in a tux and sing low to get laid by half the chorus. He'll tell you his is first to go, a dark harbinger for the others who hear his tiny slips on the wire, watch his fall from first to second, still able to hit a solid B-flat once or twice, but no longer able to live up there. The ecstatic loops above the staff, in Caldonzo pushes, pulling the choral body to its apex, a split geode of raptured vowels, Roman candles of sacred sound. Well, that's enough of that. All of us who sing know tenors in general are touchy as drunken drag queens and prone to the issimo. But we also remember our first time, uncool in the safety of the music room, the collective intake, the bowing of air across chords, our callow revelation at the opulent overtones in a chord perfectly tuned, our mouths, our throats open, our bodies vibrating in betrothal. So, fraying and pitchy, we still can't help but offer it up. And when we do, we are the first notes sung in Notre Dame, Gothic vaults cupping and ringing us full of heaven. Our amoroso faces, rose windows full of jeweled light. My second poem is titled, After 30 Years, I Still Like the Idea of Lighting Up. My husband says he'll have his next one the day he turns 80, the same way he says he'll ram the final idiot car in front of him the day he surrenders his keys. Old enough now for what-the-fuck fantasies of older men, we're finding our way into later middle age, style intact, eyes on the 401k, Medicare, our highest aspiration. We see Emerald City floating ahead in a happy blue haze. Opium pipe dream in a poppy red field Van Gogh would have painted if he had art directed at MGM. He would have loved burning Atlanta the same year, would have doled speed to Judy Garland. Here, kid, this'll keep those heels clicking. As Scarlet and Rhett drove home through murky backlot plumes to a disheveled Terra, God is my witness, I'll never go back to my office again, negotiate the parking lot's fuming cherry gauntlet, the designated smoking place catch a whiff and wonder if I'd still smoke menthols, Frenched, of course, lazy wisps drifting mouth to nose and exhaled in rings of Dietrich ennui, spinning ghost threads around faces that twist my resting body just before sleep, the stuff no positive self-talk, spiritual work, amends ever quite gets, such insistent Pentimento. Why not wrap it again in silver blue broom? Watch it float on the exhale. I'm way beyond legal now, with a wallet full of cash, just what I used to cruise as a kid, my pack sitting on the bar, needy eyed and looking for a light. How odd to look back and lock eyes with that boy, to know what awaits him and to wish him well. Hell yes, there's a lot I would change.